Good morning from Timbagapora, West Papua. This is a video really about our lives away from all the travel, all the markets, all the food videos uh, you've come to love on our channel. We, we threw it out there uh, if anyone wanted to really see a behind the scenes day in the life video. So that's what this one's all about. Let's get started on a walk. We'll kind of walk you through the community, show you the sights and what life is like uh, here in town. Yep. So for nine weeks, we spend our time here and we teach and our kids go to school. And then um, every nine weeks we're traveling and that's when we make all of our videos for you. And then we come back here and while we're teaching on our nights and weekends, that's when we push out all of our videos, editing and, and getting them ready to, to post. Yeah, so we are actually not technically full-time travel vloggers, as Kelly was saying. Every nine week chunk, we're, we're back here in town and you can see it's a beautiful, mountain town where we live we're going to in this video and i'm kind of winded we're walking up this big hill but <laughs> in this video we're going to sort of show off the town talk about our daily life but uh yeah during those nine week chunks we are here working as teachers kids go to school just like normal and the malaysia videos that you just finished watching that was actually eight weeks ago for us so we do as i said kind of binge filming why we're on our spring break fall break winter break summer break all these school vacations and then we roll them out why we're here but we thought so many of you had interest in what's the daily life like those of you who know we're not full-time travelers that we'd show it off a little bit so we are going to start going on our typical walk it's a saturday morning right now 10 a.m and Kelly and I will often go for a walk around town, which is what we'll do now. Forrest, how do you like living here, buddy? Good. Yeah, pretty fun? Now you got a big rock. What are you gonna do with that rock? Throw it in the water. You're gonna throw it in the water? Okay. <laughs> well, yes, it's the big activity on these walks. <laughs> and <sighs> it's the bonus of living on a mountain is there's so many rocks and sticks and rivers and mud puddles for forests. Yeah, yeah, non non-stop uh, entertainment that way for this kid. So we will typically bring him with us. We always stop up here for a little uh, entertainment, <laughs> throwing rocks into the river. And you'll see as we go through this, the town here, we're surrounded by constant beauty. Waterfalls, similar to this one here, but all up in the mountains. It's a really cool spot. Boys, you want to throw your rock in here? You want to throw it there? Okay, bud, give it a big throw. Splash. Nice one. Okay, well, after we'll, we spend time here, we simply walk down the road back towards town. And I think Granite is usually playing soccer on the soccer pitch. We have a full-size soccer pitch here in town. Uh, and that's always a big draw on the weekends for the boys. So we'll see uh, if he's out there and uh, work our way through town. So just kind of tell you about where we live, this location, it's West Papua and it's part of Indonesia. Indonesia has like 17,000 islands. Yep. So um, we're just on one of the big ones and we are just north of Australia. Um, so we are pretty close to the equator and it's really warm except where we live in West Papua, it's up on a mountain. Yeah, much higher <laughs> elevation. I'm gonna add that right here just to con confirm, but we're, it's, it's definitely a cool tropical climate. We are in a rainforest. Yeah, so it's like a cloud forest up here and it rains every day. And when we moved here three years ago, this was considered the wettest place on earth. Wow. Yeah, I did not know somewhere that. on the road that we take up um, to get up here, it, they had like a measuring station, a weather station. And yeah, the wettest place on earth. It rains every single day here. Yeah, and the, typically the <laughs> pattern is beautiful in the mornings, like right now, so just time check, it is at 10 a.m. Uh, it's, it's like this, just sunny, blue skies, white clouds starting to trickle in now. But by the afternoon, this will all be gray and clouds. pouring rain every day. And every afternoon, it yeah, the clouds roll up the mountain cover everything and then it rains every night. Yeah, so uh, to get our exercise in the morning is always kind of key. <laughs> One of the town buses. So as we work our way to town, you'll see a number of these buses. These are just sort of the, the bus system of how you can navigate town. And here's a much clearer shot. Pop up on the firm here, yeah. Okay, much clearer shot of our town in the valley. Goes all the way down. 
But yeah, this town, it's really operated by mining. All of this is uh, to support the mining industry. These are all sort of built by uh, the mining company. All, all of town, all the cars you see, all the workers, all the roofs, all the buildings. This is all from the mining company that maintains Timbagapora. So we, Kelly and I, although we're teachers, you know, are technically here supported by mining. And so that's great. We work with all the expat populations, families that have come from all over the world to build the industry here. It's those families that we work with at the school we work. So very cool. Forrest, you gotta get your feet wet, buddy. It's cold. It's so cold. Come <laughs> save yourself. Oh my goodness. He got some wet toes now. <laughs> this is just, uh, this is all leftover rain from yesterday's big rain. It's been, uh, you know, like 20 hours, but you get the idea. It just rains kind of constantly. Yep, which makes beautiful waterfalls here. We're gonna come up to one in just a second. It really does. So the plan for today's video is essentially giving you that behind the scenes look in our lives when we're not actually doing all that traveling. So we'll start, we'll walk through town, we'll highlight some of the cool features of what it's like to live here. There's a coffee shop we'll check out. There's actually a place to get some lunch, we'll do that. Yep. Uh, we'll give you a house tour uh, at the end of the video so you can actually see the inside of our home and uh, what it's like to, to live here in, <laughs> in town. But yep. you can see we're sort of, we walked through the jungle trek back there. Now we're getting much closer into town. And the one thing you're gonna notice is all the cars are white and they all have numbers on the sides of them. These are all, again, owned and operated, maintained by, by the mining companies. You're getting into like some apartment housing complexes. There's individual standalone homes. It's all mixed. <laughs> Forrest, get out of the mud. Are you stuck? Oh my goodness. Yeah, you're stuck. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, come here then. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, it's a muddy boy. Yeah, kind of the the nonstop thrills of living in the muddy jungle. So one of the big rivers runs through town here. Now you won't be able to see it in the GoPro with this light, but up on that mountain ridge, there's at least a dozen waterfalls that I can see right now streaming down the mountain. There, it's really quite beautiful. And they all sort of channel this way. So there's two main rivers in town, this being one of them. Oh, you're throwing a rock, buddy. Oh, oh too big. Oh, that's not, yeah, you got it. Splash. All right, so we're now uh, definitely in town. You can see again these views. Beautiful. Pretty nice, huh? So nice. Oh, I think I see some boys. Yeah, yeah, you kind of kind of see that, get a f bit of the town right there. But so this here, full-sized soccer pitch, it's the recreation hub on the weekend. You've got the sports hall, Tim Bag of Pora sign on the building. But there's, you know, 50, 60 people out here enjoying. There's uh, adult soccer leagues that happen on Saturdays and Sundays. You see Artie? You see one of your buddies? All right. Hey, Pog, Poggy. All right, so just uh, all types of people. I'll give you a view of it from up top. All right, so the entire sports hall. We have a rock wall complex here, the whole soccer pitch. We run youth sports programs out here. Granite and Cedar Forest all get involved in Saturday sports. So a good time that way. But you get the idea of the sports hall in there, basketball, gym, uh, there are volleyball gyms. There's Ooh, my table favorite. tennis. Yeah, the rock, rock wall. Absolutely. Ooh. So you can see just all types of kids. Granite's out there somewhere in that mob. But yeah, it's the recreation uh, hub of the weekend, wouldn't you say? Yes, definitely. This is the happening spot. Happening spot here in Tobagapora. It's just a nice day to be outside, that's for sure. Yeah. Where's the forest? I saw that big big bat hole. You saw a big hole? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Don't fall in the Don't hole. Don't fall in the hole. <laughs> All right, so we'll work our way uh, further up the mountain. Again, it only gets more beautiful the higher we get. Yeah, so. we were just tucked in this little pocket Mom. surrounded by these huge mountains and these waterfalls. And it, yeah, it's, West Papua is just beautiful. It's amazing. It's, yeah, quite amazing. We're very fortunate and to be here. It's such a different feel from um, Raja Ampat, which is also West Papua, but and where we had our earlier videos yep. from, is that's all like ocean and beach and 
marine life. Now we're up here in the cloud forest. Totally different, quite beautiful. Sun's coming out, you can just see. Yeah, quite, quite beautiful. All right, so as we continue, we're almost kind of to the peak now of, of the hills. Well, we're passing the mosque. So one mosque in town. We have one mosque and we have two churches. A small community, but it covers everything. Yeah, quite diverse. Um, you know, we're here called to prayer and all that. And so um, Ramadan's obviously huge here, uh, along with uh, Easter, all these kind of things are what build, I think, a, a cool community is it's so diverse and so um, like understanding towards all cultures. So a big bonus of being here is you are in this mixed dynamic of people, religions, cultures, all together in this one little teeny town. And again, you might be able to see, again, it's gonna be so dark on the GoPro, but lots of waterfalls streaking down the mountain. Quite beautiful again. Yeah. So as we kind of continue around, you get the idea we've got um, like some barracks, housing, offices, just everything to support life up here on the mountain. Speaking of, you know, to, to, we want to fill you in a little bit on how we actually got here. Our, I mean, we are American. Uh, we lived in the U.S. our entire lives, but in 2015 is when we decided to go overseas. Yes, so we, um, we had heard about international teaching and we were both teachers in Alaska and we decided, oh, let's just kind of, uh, you know, we didn't have a particular place that we really wanted to go to. We just were excited to explore the world. And so we just, I think we put our resumes out at like 30 schools all over the, all over the world. Yeah, and to go with that, Kelly uh, was pregnant with granite when we <laughs> sort of decided we wanted to leave Alaska, leave America, start looking overseas. And so by the time he was born and then she got pregnant again with Cedar, Cedar yeah. was born in Alaska. It was when they were three and one, granite was three, Cedar was one, that we left to go overseas. And we ended up in India town bus so we ended up in Chennai India in fact at our first overseas school the American International the American International School of Chennai beautiful school and that's really what kicked off this whole adventure uh, I have traditionally been a PE teacher and I taught elementary school and now I teach middle school so yep so we were in India for two years it was an amazing experience from India we ended up in Dubai where again I worked as a PE teacher you were uh, fifth grade, I taught fifth grade in Dubai for three years, and in that time period, this little guy was born. Whoop, whoop. Right, so, Forrest? Forrest born in Dubai, <laughs> and that's really where we kicked off the YouTube channel. At the time, the channel was called Travel Hacking Teachers. For any of you like old school fans, okay. uh, know that because we were teachers, we were using credit card points, travel hacking to score good deals on flights and travel. Uh, so that's what launched the channel. And that was right before a uh, global pandemic shut everything down. So if you want to see some of those early videos, you know, you got to click right there. But those are like little kid videos. They are really small. Of course, but just born. Just a baby. baby. Yep. So anyway, Dubai. Dubai for three years. And then it was during the pandemic that we shifted from Dubai to West Papua, Indonesia. We were in America for about eight months due to travel hardships that you all know about so we were living in the u.s we did a florida playlist an alaska playlist all those videos right up here and here we go how you doing buddy good good doing good so a small town like this we always bump into people when we walk and have little conversations could be work colleagues friends oh fire station so we are at the uh, officially passing the timbagapura fire station there's a big fire trucks in there, lots of fire workers. And uh, this is the highlight of the walk for Forrest when he does in fact join us. Uh, typically, he gets to go in and see the trucks. So we like that a lot. But anyway, as I was saying, it was during the pandemic that we uh, transitioned out of Dubai into Indonesia. And really we've been here ever since. And it was in Indonesia where the channel really grew to what you know today as the Bags Pack family. But just one of the uh, kind of industrial warehouse areas, the fire station, 923 to Magapura. So cool. Forrest, what are you doing in the puddle, man? Woo. This is what it's about. Yeah. Getting out in nature, getting dirty, getting wet. Yeah. Buggy. Buggy. <laughs> Just saying with all these trucks, it's a kid paradise forest. Forest, what are you looking at? What's this big truck? 
an excavator. Woohoo! Buses, trucks, just awesome, awesome things to see. So we're back in the jungle, sort of weaving our way through town. So it's one of our favorite parts of the walk. It's so pretty in here in this like kind of manicured trail space. I love it. I love all the flowers. And it's so green back here, which is amazing. Yeah, it's really nice. The, the yeah, the, the flowers, the blossoms, everything. So we are gonna start working our way towards the store now. I know it's past eleven, as I said earlier. So we're gonna grab a couple of things from the shop. Maybe some. You guys want a coffee? Yeah, definitely. Grab a want coffee. coffee. Uh, Forrest, you want a hot milk? No. Does anybody recognize this? Yeah. So this spot. Our 100,000 video, uh, subscriber video, we did in that table right there. And our Q&As, we love to do our Q&As. Yeah, right it's just such a pretty uh, area. Hot milk. You want a hot milk? Hot okay, milk. we'll get you hot milk. <laughs> but yeah, this, yeah, this is typically where we film. I mean, that's so beautiful. Hey, we need a 200,000 uh, subscriber video here pretty soon because those blossoms are beautiful, those big purple flowers. But either way, this area, one of our favorite spots in town to walk back through here to see that. Now we've wrapped around, we've pretty much done a, not quite a full circle, but pretty close uh, as we move our way back to town. So again, you can kind of see more houses. There's kind of our waterfall mountain as a as a viewpoint. And we'll head over to the grocery store next. So as we work our way to the shop, uh, we do have a, a hospital in town. We got the hospital here. There is the second uh, Christian church here. The school's down the road there. It's just... Uh, I mean, it's a full city. Yeah. When you think about it, all the different things that are available. Yep, just a little tiny city, but it has a sampling of everything. Yeah, should we go uh, check out the shop? Yes. All right, all right so we've just arrived to sort of the, the, the shopping complex, if you will. Uh, we'll grab some lunch for the kids, probably some uh, ramen noodles. We'll, we'll kick it up a notch at the house, show you that here in just a minute. Grab some coffees on the inside. But yeah, this is kind of the, the big hub for all the uh, shopping needs. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Yes. Ready for us? Okay, let's go shopping. I'll buy a tea. So we're just heading into our store now. It's awesome for like up here in the mountain. It's like donuts and treats. All the lighting's flashy, so I won't I won't do too much filming here because the lighting's bad. But uh, yeah, you can see it's just a stocked, stocked grocery store. It's awesome in here. So we'll grab some quick lunch and then step out. Yum. Yeah, it's a little, a little uh, Saturday, Sunday tradition to come in and grab some treats. What do you see? Brownies. Oh, look at that. Big old brownies. Yeah, I already eat them all. I bet you do, mister. How do you order hot milks for, the, for him? Yeah, hot milk. Uh, vanilla. Vanilla. Yeah, do I, do I. Small. We'll get one for Cedar, too. So we'll get for us a hot milk, ice Americanos. Nothing. Pretty much universal. Forrest sees stuff like this and he's like, I want, I want. That's all right. Ooh. All right, we got some hot milk, Yay. some hot iced milk Americanos. Some iced Americanos. Now, you, you, want, you want to go home? We should probably go oh. to Oh, we're just here. Oh. Cedar. Cedar. Welcome. Yeah. Perfect timing. How yeah. are you? Good. Okay, we got your hot milk. Thank you. We're going to bring it home. It's yeah, it's your hot milk. milks. Oh. Yay. All right, well, you never know who's going to show up in one of our videos in Cedar. Yeah. Well, yeah, let's head home so we can talk about. We'll show you the groceries, give you a proper house tour, and show you kind of that aspect of our life here in Tobagopora. Just wanted to point out, now we're starting to walk back to our house, but you can see the difference in the clouds. Now, these, you can, if you just stop and look, the clouds, you can see them rolling in. And this is now, it's almost noon. So here in just a little while, this whole thing will be kind of socked in and it rains every day, huh, Cedar? Mm -hmm. Every single day. Every day, all reliable. But it, it, there's a noticeable dip in temperature. The wind is blowing and uh, yeah, it's just getting more crisp. So everything we do for recreation and play outside typically happens uh, in those morning hours. But you can see those clouds just rolling right in. It's very beautiful, very beautiful. Another one of the rivers goes right through our area. We live kind of down this part of town. Cool, huh? I love this bridge. Yeah. This might be my favorite spot in town. Here in the water and you can just feel a cool breeze. Yeah, it's always like a little wind channel. Really nice. But okay, well, we'll head home now. Show you all of that. All right, we're home. Coffee time. Home sweet home. Yes. All right. Granite, how are you? Good. We, 
soccer. Yeah, we saw you out there playing. You had a big group of kids. Yeah, me and my friends and some other pop ones. Nice. Okay. Well, this is the the household. We'll give you a proper tour here in in just a minute. But yeah, it's uh, this is it. That's where we live. Looks good. We got all these groceries to put away and lunch to think about. But you guys want to give a uh, room tour? Yes. Okay, go for it, Cedar. Should I do my room? Or yeah, go for it. Should you do them all? Do them all. No problem. So here we have some wall stuff. So it's not all plain. And up the stairs. It's pretty nice. So here's the bathroom, some big spacing. This is where we put our, all our stuff. Mirror right here. Shower, toilet. It's pretty good. And there's a lot of space. And this room, this room used to be Granite's room, but now it's a toy room slash art room slash workout space. And we, this is a really cool spot. So, it's really good. And this room, you bet you know what, I bet you guys know what it is. Me, Grandma's and Forces bedroom. So, Forces lives here. This little pull out bed. Here's Granite's bed. Then here's up top of my bed it's because um forest is still like waking up at the middle of the night screaming and granite sleepwalks but i do nothing like that but one day i sleepwalk and i can't believe i did not get hurt here is my pants room it's pretty cool a very very soft bed and the cedar tree wood, the desk, some pictures, and here, here's a balcony. The balcony with a very good view, with all nice areas. It's a really cool space. And what I think about Chimbagapura, it's really cool. It doesn't get too hot, it doesn't get too cold. It's the right temperature. Hopefully hopefully you guys liked the room the the room tour. See you later. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the look of the rooms and this is the type of stuff we got at the store. So I got uh Wagyu steak bites. I got two of these. You wanna pull those out for me, Granite? Yep. We got hummus, we have a frozen durian fruit that's in, in stock from time to time. So when it's there, we always, uh, at least Granite, Cedar and I always try to suck it up. Kelly, not as much. Mama. I like it, but I am um, just a little bit. Yeah, just a little. <laughs> so we got our Wagyu steak bites. We're gonna do ramen with the steak bites. Uh, we got the kids the hot the hot flavor. You know, being Indonesia, hot me, all that really everywhere. Yeah. Uh, this was a new item. Don't usually see that. Uh, freeze dried jackfruit should be pretty, uh, I don't know, kind of fun to eat. Some crackers to go with tuna. Um, but yeah, you get the idea. So our house, it's uh, got the family room, the dining room, kitchen, dishes and whatnot. So cool. What do you guys think? Really yes, cool. ready for lunch. Yes, ready for yes. lunch. Uh, do you should we show the cooking process on video here? Or? Sure. Show you what we, we typically make with it in terms of the noodles. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that here in just a second. All right, so while we cook, Granite is uh, kind of the ramen whiz, so he's going to whip these up. I'm going to deal with this uh, Wagyu um, beef uh, slices, and to go with that, we're going to add the Wagyu beef tallow. So that's going to make this extra delicious. Cheese, we're going to fry up some eggs on the flat top there. So it'll be uh, quite the ramen dish. And a ketchup manis. We are truly in Indonesia, in case you doubted it. Ketchup manis, we're, we're good to go. Got that beef tallow in the pan, let that melt down. Granite, water getting hot for your ramen? Yep. Good, good, good. Yeah, you can see we're already at a smoke points. All right, and then the Wagyu beef in the store.
Uh, smells delicious. All right, Grant, looking good. What do you got here? Okay, so once you finish boiling the noodles, then you put in all like the flavors and the spiciness. Whoa. You put it into your bowl. Then you put on the cheese. Then the eggs. Okay, eggs next. Yep. Kind of a over over medium. Then you put some ketchup money on a fair amount. that mm -hmm. and then you go your steak bites in and use whatever you want to mix it around and then is ooh. the yolk still ready yeah yolk still running perfect the way I like it excellent well that is a uh, typical look at lunch I mean it varies sometimes we'll have uh, sandwiches the normal stuff but um, with the accessibility of everything that we've got with that like the wagyu beef the noodles yeah this is uh, not uncommon for uh, for a lunch uh, here on the mountain quite delicious Kind of our favorite afternoon spot is uh, out here. Now it has definitely cooled down from this morning when we were walking. Just past three o'clock now. But yeah, this is all socked in. I'm surprised it's not raining now, but you know, at some point it will rain today. So <laughs> yes, definitely yeah. it'll rain. Um, but it's probably about when the sun's out, it's probably at easily a 10 degree difference. Mm -hmm. Um, in weather, just having the sun out versus having the clouds out. Yeah, so we'll sit back, we'll enjoy the day. I mean, at some point we'll probably do another walk if, if it uh, doesn't rain, just take advantage of it while we can. But you get the idea. I mean, life here in Timbagapura, this is what we do when we're not traveling. I mean, full-time teachers working in a very standard, uh, not a standard place, but a standard uh, school environment that, you know, anyone can relate to, so it's yeah. good. Let's just enjoy, enjoy some coffee and soak up the rest of our afternoon. Yeah, and we are actually just about a week away from the end of our nine-week run here. So looking forward to uh, packing and starting the next round of vacation videos. Drop a comment down below if you want to see more of the kind of the daily vlog styles of, of trips we're planning in the future. Just, yeah, let us know what you'd like, kind of like to see. But either way, we're going to enjoy our time in Tembagapura uh, until our next vacation. All right, everybody, we'll see you on the road.